Hello and welcome to the phone fields investigation. We're going to look at a smartphone and we're going to watch it pick up a paper clip. You ever seen that before? Amazing. Here's another view. Can you see that? Now, how about an earbud? Can an earbud pick up a paper clip? Let's see. There's the paper clip. The earbud's not plugged in. Up it goes. Shake it around. Now, did you notice there's only a couple spots where that happens? So what do you think is inside these devices? Let's scan a smartphone with a magnetometer and see if we can find the magnets. The magnetometer is that little box and you can see we're moving it slowly back and forth across the phone and as we're doing that it's putting readings on a computer screen that we can see. So when the readings go up we want to look closely in that area. Here's some of the readings you might see when you're scanning the phone. You notice it's very low for a while. That's just the background magnetic field. And then when we cross over a magnet, look at that, it jumps way up. And when we did it with the earbud, same thing. It's low. And then when we find the magnet, it goes way up. So how do these readings compare to other kinds of magnets? Here's a little tiny magnet. It's neodymium. It's a pretty elaborate, fancy magnet. But you can see how small it is compared to a dime. That's one small magnet. And yet, look at that. Boom. When we cross the magnetometer over it, it goes up to the same level we were seeing in the phone. How about refrigerator magnets? What do you think? They're not as strong. In fact, they're a lot less strong. Even 10 of them stacked up don't even come close to that little tiny neodymium magnet. And here's a data sheet if you want to compare the readings that we got.